it's Miss Bombshell Betty here from Retromania in the Pinup Diaries Facebooks. Uh, today I'm going to be doing um, part one of a three part video series that I'm doing for a shopping haul that I did towards the end of last week. I love shopping hauls, I get so excited. Um, and the particular shopping haul that I did was at Priceline where they had, you know, you buy $65 worth of stuff and you get um, a bag full of you know, cosmetics and um, different beauty products. I love those sorts of things. I get so excited. Um, so I act like a crazy person in this in the shop. So basically, uh, today's uh, video, which is part one, um, I'm going to be doing a video of all the stuff that I actually bought. Um, and then the following videos will be what's in the bags and stuff like that. And then as I start using the products, I'll be doing reviews on them as well. So to start with, um, I'm going to focus on the Ready, Set, Gorgeous set. Uh, this is by Models Prefer. I actually really liked it. I thought it was cute. It was only 15 I think. Maybe? Yes? No? I don't know. I think it was about 15 um, It's got like all the little eyeshadows and stuff. I really like it. And then you pull it out. It's got lots more. Um, it's actually quite a nice big set. It's got like its own little brushes and everything. The one thing I was actually upset about, which has nothing really to do with the product, it was obviously just the way it was handled in the store, is that it's actually got, I probably can't see very well in the video, it's actually got a scratch along here, and then at the back, it's actually got part of the hinge missing, which I found in the box, which I was a little bit annoyed about, but what can you say? I didn't, I didn't notice it until this morning when I opened it, so I was a little bit upset about that, but I'm sure I'll get over it. <laughs> um, the next thing I brought was uh, from Simple. So it's a little pack, it's got the cleanser, um, it's got the toner, it's got the makeup wipes, and it's got moisturizer, which is there. So I really am a really big fan of um, any sort of beauty products like this, and I love the fact that it come in a pack. It's only like $11 or something, so it's actually pretty cheap. Um, which is awesome. Um, Models Prefer brush cleanser was the next thing I got. I love brush cleanser. Everyone has their own method when it comes to cleaning their brushes. You know, some people like um, using conditioner and stuff that they would normally use in their hair. I know some people that I've watched on other videos have said that after they've cleaned them, they use baby oil to keep them nice and soft. Everyone has their own different methods, but you know, brush cleanser, never going to go astray. The next thing I got, which I actually got, I think I may have got another one, but I can't really see it right now, but I got um, two different types of night cream. So the first one is actually by Simple. It's an uh, repair anti-wrinkle night cream. I love night creams. I just, I don't know. I, I think it's a good little beauty product and it's something that you're always going to use. It sort of keeps the skin nice and hydrated as well, so it's not going to dry out. Um, this one is night renewal cream this one's by um, Palmer's cocoa butter formula um, I haven't actually really used many of their products to be honest um, probably not as much as what simples is I do have sensitive skin so I'm hoping fingers crossed um, that I'm not gonna have a reaction to it but we'll we'll just see how we go it's all about trial and error really when it comes to those sorts of things um, the next thing I have is the um, lip cream. This is actually by Pure Topia. Um, I haven't used this one before and I haven't really used much lip pumpers. The only one I had which um, was from W7. It came in a little pink tube. Um, but that one actually worked quite well. I just like sort of test drying things from other brands and seeing how they work and seeing what works best for me. I'm pretty excited about this and um, when I start using it I will be reviewing it on here for you guys to see. Um, the next thing I have was the Sally Hansen um, gel polish. This one's called Plums the Word 251. Um, I do actually do my own nails in gel polish as well as going getting them done professionally, um, which I don't do as much as what I used to. I sort of do it more at home now, um, mainly just a time factor of actually getting down to the appointment. But that's the kind of color it is. Um, it's actually quite nice. It's perfect for winter, especially because. Um, it's just crappy out there. It is awful and having a nice little darker color never goes astray, especially in winter time um, The next thing I had was um, both from Bjorg. So one's an unclogging scrub and the other one's the detoxifying 
a daily scrub. Um, this is actually the old packaging. Most of their stuff is uh, looks like this. When I actually first was looking for this, I couldn't even see it because I wasn't actually looking for this packaging. Um, but I've used both of them um, before and I absolutely love them. They sort of really get in and cleanse the skin and um, I use them, both of them daily. They just, they're really good. Um, and they're good for sensitive skin as well for anyone who has sensitive skin like me. Um, the next thing I got was um, powders. I love powders. I use powders all the time on my face. Um, so the first one I got was actually by Savvy. Um, this one is Double Zero Finishing Veil, um, which I have got one of these um, tucked away, which I haven't started using yet. <laughs> um, but I always like to stock up. Another one I got was um, Zero Tan Fair. This one was actually from Revlon Nilly Naked. Um, so I haven't tried this one yet either, but you know, I like trying things in different brands. The one I'm using at the moment is pretty good. Um, it is a W7 one, but I find that sometimes the lasting factor for it isn't as good as what um, I've had in the past. So always like trying different ones and seeing which one does the best. Um, the next one I have here is Models Prefer Brow Liner. I always do my brows. Um, I think that the eyebrows are probably one of the most important things on your face and some people just really forget that. Um, but they are, they are one of the most important things on your face. It's definitely a distinctive little feature and an eyebrow pencil can never go astray. Even though I have like, I don't know, probably five or six of them, they can never go astray. Um, next thing I have is also from Sally Hansen, um, just nail polish remover. Like I said, because I do my nails at home, I always have nail polish remover floating around. I probably have three bottles or something of this tucked away, but you can have enough, enough of this because you never know when you're going to have to quickly remove it. Um, the next things are just, you know, things like makeup pad removers, cotton balls, which I swear I have brought so many of them in the past several months, but they just go like that. Um, next thing is cleansing eye makeup pad removers. I actually really like these. One thing I really loved is the fact that they don't sting your eyes. I tend to get really, really sensitive eyes and anytime I start rubbing them, especially with things like this, it just really starts to sting my eyes. But I actually noticed these were really good for being really nice and soft around the eyes. Um, so if you do have sensitive skin or if you do find that when you use makeup remover, um, if it's in a bottle or if it's like this, this is actually definitely something you would actually really like to invest in. They're actually pretty cheap, which makes it even better. And the last thing I had was cotton dips. <laughs> Never have enough of these. Um, I always use them when I'm doing my eyeliner and that if I make a mistake or just trying to fix up little things like that. Even with mascara and stuff, if I've accidentally smudged it under here or above the eyelid, these are always very, very, very handy. So that's part one of the first shopping haul video. Um, there definitely will be more to go up, but for the um, starters, this one will be going up first, mainly because of the fact that this is all the stuff that I brought to get the actual packages. Um, so the next videos will be going up in the next few days. And I'll be hoping to trial most of these products for you in the next um, few weeks and let you know what's, what's good or, um, yeah. So, see you guys soon. Bye.